Don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me. Da da da, da da da, we're back. On box on the news, Green News report. We in box right on twenty ninth for my beat, yo. Right out. That's wrong, Julia Boy Chair Mac is in the back, Packings in the fat, Gaddings in the couple, Rackets is in all, Vaddings. First off, come on, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and read. Me, ass niggas. Listen, I just found out that it's a share button. Yeah, I keep talking about like, comment, subscribe. No, like, comment, share. I don't care if niggas subscribe. Just let niggas see this, John. You feel me? Shout out to the niggas, the 20 people that's probably going to do it. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the only 20 that's pushing me to get a plaque and send the bags without an axe in this chair. Mackington. Just trying to get a Plackington. You feel me? You niggas don't feel me. However, breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking fucking news. We at. The Monster Mash! <laughs> if you do not know what the Monster Mash is, it's absolutely positive, 100%. When y'all round all the monsters up that y'all create and mash them right into one goddamn school, and they gotta get on one train, and they gotta act the goddamn fool. You feel me? I know y'all probably don't feel me. However, part of my dyslexia says parents. I understand that you want your children to have fun and enjoy themselves, but please stop letting them make the rides uncomfortable for everyone else. The smoking, loud music, the fighting, it is all unacceptable behavior. We don't want to hear that your child is a good kid only after the law comes down on them. It is clear that a lot of Philadelphia youth are out of control and something needs to be done about it. Hashtag Thomas. Who the hell is Thomas? However, thank you, uh, Mr. Thomas. I'm going to let the video play, and then I'm going to give my um, feedback. Take it away, please. Anything. Thank you. I pray my daughter don't be involved in it. She don't, for the most part, to my knowledge. Now, she could be fooling me. However, I got her location. This is what I'm about to say, right? This is how sweet, how soft, how crazy the world that got the cameras that made everything so soft. We, even when we was acting stupid, when the cops showed up, we got to stop the stupidness. We got to disperse. Got to take the stupid, crazy, maniacal, diabolical, stupid shit somewhere else. Hey, like, I don't give a, Who is you again, sir? What you do for a living? Why you got that gun on you? They don't, hold, they don't know who the police is at all. However, why does this little girl outside with a bonnet on? Like, we got to teach our kids better. This is a terrible representation. Anything you... Now, if he'd have punched up Sal Habisky Onyx and then what? He wrong? Yeah, you'd have been wrong. You'd have been wrong for knocking up Sal's head. However, little girl, this is the law. He is an officer of the law. If he slammed you to the ground, put you in handcuffs, take you to jail, they're going to look to his side first. Your side, uh, his side, uh, ever ending. You wonder why. <laughs> I know what could be done about this, though, in real life, in real time. Put some white cops down there. Yeah. See how white cops deal with black kids. 
Matter of fact, put some goddamn Delaware County cops in the goddamn septic station. I can guarantee you, with Delaware County cops, oh my God, I, I, they whipping batons off of, what's up? And they cracking you right upside your biscuit. Bing, bing, bing. I promise you. They don't care about no cameras. They body camera on and everything. They don't care. Yeah, they go and get the order. However, get your kids before something happen. They get slammed all around. Boo, 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 boo. They, they uh, use excessive force. But they not. They slamming your kids to the floor for being a bad. Yeah, I got slammed to the... I used to go to a school where they get slammed into the floor. I don't care if a kid gets slammed to the floor. I know how we act. I know sometimes we need to get slammed to the floor when we're a kid. So I'm glad nobody did get slammed to the floor. However, y'all need to learn how to act before one of y'all gets slammed to the floor. You feel me? In other news, we at the reverse button. If you didn't know what the reverse button is, it is actually absolutely positively 100% my favorite button in the world. Now them young boys got them Glock buttons. My favorite button is the reverse button. That's when you thought that shit was sweet. And it was really sour. I have a part about his Lexus as team with toy gun shot by a victim during an attempted robbery in Kensington. Yeah, nigga. You thought this was great. I thought you going to rob a nigga with a toy gun? An Orby gun, nigga? Nigga put that, put that fa-fa on that ass. Then what? Got to get the consequences repercussions. However, I'm sending over to my sister company. Take it away, please. Anything. Get back to this story about this 16-year-old hospitalized. 16. Running around with toy guns thinking shit is a game. Now you hospitalized. My fault, Mike. Anything. After he was shot, uh, he was trying to rob somebody. But he was trying to rob somebody with a toy gun. The guy he was robbing had a, a real, real gun. gun. You feel Marcus me? is on this story. Marcus. Yeah, that's right, Mike. So that's what police are investigating right now. In fact, they also recovered that toy gun that was uh, tried to be used in this situation here to stick somebody up. And they uh, had other ideas. You better be careful about bringing a fake gun to what turned out to be a real gunfight here. And that's exactly what happened. The 21 year old who had the legal gun on him uh, re uh, fired at the 16 year old who had the toy gun. The 16 year old was shot in the leg by the 21 year old. This happening last night in Kensington on the 20. 200 block of East Emerald again around 11 o'clock or so where him and another person who police are looking for suck somebody up there you know try to rob them and try to do so with that toy gun that person the 21 year old obviously could not tell the difference between the fake gun and the real gun and they chose to use the gun that they legally had on them as they should have shout out to the 21 year old Listen, young boy, you lucky he only hit you with a goddamn leg warmer. Yeah, because I'd have lit your ass up like a Christmas tree and act like I was scared to death. I, the police would have been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been a damsel in distress, my nigga. You lucky he only shot you and gave you a little leg warmer. You feel me? Count your blessings. However, I do hope you get booked for that attempted robbery, and I hope my man go to court. They point right at you. And then you got to meet Uncle Lala. And then what Uncle Lala got to do? Hold on, Uncle Lala. Chill out. We got a minute left. Anything. It turned out that the gun that was being used by the 16-year-old was a fake gun, a toy gun, which the victim was not able to see because it was being pressed into his back. Uh, but after the, uh, after the uh, victim... Uh, opened fire on the robbers. Uh, that gun was dropped and it was recovered by police and is now in police custody. And we, we now know it to be a fake gun. Uh, but again, having been pressed into the victim's back, there, was, there would have been no way for the victim to have known that. Even if it was a water gun, I don't give a f if it was a cap gun. You deserve everything that came with that. You lucky you ain't dead, nigga. Count your blessings. Anthony. 
And that's the point right there. The 21 year old, of course, having no idea whether or not that was a real or fake gun, uh, took measures there to try to protect themselves. That's uh, what it appears that police are taking a look at it in that perspective, in that point of view now. So they search for a second suspect right now and, and no doubt will question the, six, the 16 year old here when he is uh, able to be questioned after recovering. Don't question him. Lock him up. Yeah, yeah. Question him at the district, nigga. No, no, no. I'm not fucking all that. Take him to the interrogation room and let's see how real gangster is. Because you only you not a gangster until you gotta go sit in the room with them white people and they start asking you questions and they already know the answers. Yeah, that's that's when we see your real gangsterism. So you want to run around playing gangster, playing stupid. 16 years old, risking your life, trying to get killed, trying to get put in front of Uncle Lala. Hold on one more time, Uncle Lala. You, that's what you like. That's what your kids want to do. You can literally find something to do. It's a billion things in the world to do. You ain't got to be doing that stupidness I've ever since you want to, since you worked so hard for this. Police! Save me from Uncle Lala. Come here, Uncle Lala, please. How you doing today? Shut the oh, Right out of his stupid ass. King Boot Dance and Finish Those Little Kids Before Us Rock You. I'll be a chest of mine on Crackle Green. Some said Pine Grove. One of them recreational symbols we get in the golf. Let us know who you was with, nigga. You gonna do the sign by yourself? Just stupid ass. However, today's episode is sponsored by Miss Aja Hannah. Miss Aja Hannah is. She is actually absolutely positively 100% a supporter. Got to be a subscriber. Got to be pushing me to get a plaque and some bags with all the ads and share Magnuson. She got to be. She's raining all the way from the Woodlands, Texas. Yeah, I don't know where the Woodlands, Texas at. I don't know where Orange County, California. However, these are the supporters and subscribers that I truly appreciate. Cause they shitting on you Philadelphians. You ain't buying shit. shit. Mean ass niggas. However, I do appreciate you, Miss Ajahanna. And please send me a picture. They never send me no picture. I would like a picture so I can throw you up. Is wrong. In other news, where we at? Undercover lover. If you know what an undercover lover is. You're about to find out. Paul about dyslexia says man convicted of murder over romance after shooting man, burning his body in 2022. Like, golly, nigga, you did all that because you wanted to be gay? You gonna throw your life away because some sh you chose to do. That's crazy, man. It. However, I'm sitting over to my sister company. Take it away, please. Into you. Tonight, one family's message, justice is served, a jury convicting a man of murder all over romance, and a warning, some of the details of the story may be disturbing to hear. Cheyenne Corinne is live for us at Philadelphia Police Headquarters. Cheyenne, we heard from the family of the 20-year-old victim tonight. What are they saying? We did, Sheba, and it was very emotional. But they do have some closure now that the man who shot and then burned the body of Nasir Johnson will spend the rest of his life in prison. The family also wanted to make clear that Nasir was murdered not only because he was gay, but also because his killer, who he was in a relationship with, could not accept his own sexual identity. Sometimes I just... Hold on, miss. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you off real quick. And then you did all that to hide your identity, your sexual identity, right? Just for us to find out just for you to get sent, where some niggas that can't wait for you to get there. Yeah, they waiting for you, sir. Anything you. Forcing myself to go to sleep. My heart is so torn in so many pieces. Since Nasir Johnson was killed in February of 2022, his family has been pleading and praying for justice. <laughs> I couldn't even see him. They wouldn't have laid him to rest. I couldn't even see him. <laughs> the 20 year old's body was found along this remote trail in Fairmont Park near Kelly Drive. This body was the worst burned body I have ever seen. 
Prosecutors say 23-year-old Kylan Pratt shot Johnson in the neck at his West Philly home, wrapped his body in cloth, drove it to the park, and set him on fire. Bratt was found guilty of first-degree murder with a mandatory life sentence. Investigators also found... You want the trial, nigga? Oh, oh my God. Not only is you gay, you're gay and stupid, nigga. Nigga, I'm, you know you did it. You know it was you. I'm taking the... What y'all got? G give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Nigga, you gonna let this go to trial? You thought you had a win? Nigga, is you crazy? Oh my God. It's in you. Disturbing searches on his cell phone, and he was found guilty of other charges, such as abuse of a corpse. Makes no mistake about it, this was a hate crime. Pratt was identified as a suspect after detectives received an anonymous tip. That was not a hate crime, miss. That was a love crime. He was scared that his love was going to tell his secrets. That was a love crime. It wasn't, he don't hate gay people. He hates the fact that they might say so. You feel me? Anthony. That also led them to finding out the two men were in a romantic relationship. We must recognize that this violence isn't random. It is a reflection of deeply rooted, internalized homophobia, queerphobia, and transphobia that impacts all of our communities. This is an, an individual who was killed because he was gay and because the man who killed him did not want anyone to find out that he was in a relationship with him or that he had sex with other men. Johnson. Yeah, not because he was gay. Stop saying that. Wasn't because he was gay. I killed you because I don't want nobody to find out I'm gay. Yeah, that's the, you feel me? You tripping, y'all making it up. Like he, he had a hate crime. No, it wasn't no hate crime. It was a scared straight crime. Anything. His family described the Chad High School graduate who was about to begin college as a person who everyone loved. They say his death is a result of families not accepting their children for who they are and urges others to unconditionally love how they did Nasir. He didn't deserve that and for you to burn his body so we couldn't see him. It's is is no amount of forgiveness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I really am. Nobody should go through that. That's terrible. Burning somebody up. You already shot him, my nigga. You could have just been gay. Yeah, you know niggas been fucking with the Ben Gay shit this whole time. Man, you you could have been free. Just been gay. That's I know right now you like I could have just been gay. However. You chose this. You wanted to see Uncle Lala so bad. You did. You did this maniacal, diabolical. Shit. Now you got to get shot. The f oh yeah. Oh yeah. We can boot dance. If things will slip through camp before us, rock you. I'll be a chest of mine. Frank Green. Some said Pine Grove. What are them wreck race no sooner to get the thoughts? Let us know. Is you still gay? There's some gay niggas up there for you. In other news, are we at? One mirror and friend. If you don't know who one mirror is, he's actually absolutely positively 100 percent A drill and stuff us on move, put your aura seven and fix her, torture her, camper her, send her, rap for her. From the CCK section of the city. Yeah, that's what he earned from. However, he showed us a picture of some of his friends. It says, or my dyslexia, it says, at skis.ng, the guys in there mobbing for real, for real. They don't know, free chopping the guys. Like, the guys in there mobbing for real. I can almost guarantee you, Mir, the guys want to come home. Yeah, I swear to God. I don't care how gangster you is. When you get to prison, you're like, damn, I can't wait to go home. Yeah, I swear to God, I'm, I'm going to be good. You start talking all this good jazz, I'm going to be good. I'll probably get a job and shit. You start planning a job and shit. I'm probably be a trash man or something. Nigga, they want to come home to my day mobbing for real. They want to come home for real, for real. Yeah, they want to do something else. And if they don't, cool. However, 
the road that you on, Mirror, you're going to be mobbing with the guys too. Eventually, you better pray that you do. But I hope you don't get the other route with the crazy, maniacal, diabolical charts be on. However, uh, I believe this one right here in the middle, let me see. I believe that is Chop. This one right here, tall ass head. Sorry, Chop. Yeah, it looks like Mega Man. I'm just saying. That's Chop, and this is the guys. And they mobbing for real. So if y'all coming home and y'all think y'all gonna be on that crazy stuff still, keep your ass there. Nigga, we don't need y'all here. No, we chilling like a mother. We trying to clean the streets up so it can be safe for the kids. Y'all got kids? We even want the streets safe for your kids, nigga. You feel me? So if y'all don't call here on that treacherous shit still, stay right where you at. However, thank you for using Global Telling. Goodbye. That's wrong. In other news, where we at? BSPN. And today, in BSPN, we have Mr. Dikembe Mutombo. If you do not know who Mr. Dikembe Mutombo is, he is actually, absolutely, positively a Hall of Fame basketball player. Mr. No, no, no. Don't bring that shit in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Dikembe Mutombo passed away yesterday. Rest in peace. At 59. That's young. You see how that's crazy? In real life, that's young. Y'all kids dying at goddamn 13, 14, 16. 59 is young. However, he died of brain cancer. We do want to say rest in peace. We do want to remember you for all your great blocks. No, no, no. Send that shit to Jamaica. You feel me? He was smacking shit. All the way to Africa. However, he lost his life to brain cancer. We do send our condolences to your family. Live the great life. When it's time to go, it's time to go. You feel me? And we all got to go. So what you going to leave behind? He left a good legacy behind. I don't really know his basketball stats up there on left, right. However, he did play for the Sixers. We did go to the championship with him. We did get our ass beat. However, it's the only time I remember us going. In my whole life, oh, we only went one time. That's crazy. And the K.A. Mutombo was there. However, rest in peace, Mr. Mutombo. And other than that, kids, please make sure, make sure you're probably. Let's keep it done with all motherfuckers. Do not us no move. Push your probably not going to make you like life. No dreams, no goals, no aspirations. Probably going to be embarrassing your parents. Because this is the type of show you should be making to. Not show you making to. Actually, the worst show the worst. Box 29 News. Or if you like news report. We can box. Right on 29 is my beat. The fuck? Right out of here. Fuck is wrong with you? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me.